Hi everyone, here is uh, my finished layout using this technique for putting text onto uh, the background of a photo. Um, I'm going to make my layout invisible and I have a, an original photo here to work with so that I can show you how I made this uh, uh, this technique. Um, my first suggestion is to always make a duplicate copy of your <coughs> photo um, so that you can always go back and grab the original to work with. Uh, the uh, main technique for this I'm not going to spend a, a lot of time with would be to extract from your photo uh, the main focal point that you want to leave in the foreground. Most often it's going to be uh, people. So Photoshop Elements 6 has, 6 has this quick selection tool which is really handy and I'm going to use it uh, to extract but I'm not going to spend time uh, cleaning up my extraction that would be something I would show you in another tutorial. And now with this quick selection tool, if I hold down my Alt key, I can unselect. It's supposed to be unselecting, there it goes. Areas where it grabbed too much. here between his legs and now I have to reselect some areas there that looks pretty good oh here's the table I need to hold down my alt key to get rid of the table in the selection there that looks pretty good you can see I have uh, let me get his shoe uh, marching ants all around the boys. I'll take out this area. And I'm going to, with my photo layer as the active layer, hit Control J, and it's going to put the boys on a layer by itself. Now, see, I have some of the couch here and whatnot, and all this, uh, the these things that need cleaning up, but I'm not going to do that for the, the purpose of this tutorial. Um, you can see in uh, my original that I did clean it up. And so the next step is to make a new layer between the extraction and the original photo. And I'm going to grab my text tool and I don't remember which font I used the first time. I got Tahoma selected here and I'm going to just type 2007 let me make this left aligned and let me make it black text I'm not sure I typed 2007 let me try that again and a, then a few spaces and I want to make make this text uh, larger. I'm going to use 24. It, it's going to be different with each font that you choose. Well, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight these two. Press Control C on my keyboard. This way, I'm going to have the spacing between. Well, that's not working. There we go. Just create your text and create it beyond the size of your photo. Duplicate the text and move it down some so that it uh, is not uh, identical so that the rows are, are not the same ending in the same area and do this about four times now I'm going to 
hold down my control key and select all of these layers and lock them. I'm going to select one of the layers, go down to my layer drop down menu and choose merge linked. And now all of those layers become one uh, layer and I'm going to duplicate that layer and bring it down. I'm going to duplicate the layer again. Oh, let's accept that change. Duplicate the layer again. I'm on the wrong layer. And bring it down. Until you have all of your photo covered. If you really want it to be more exact, you can use the arrow keys to move your copies down so that they are all aligned perfectly. Now I'm going to go back to do the same thing. Uh, somehow I got a selection out of one of them. And I'm going to highlight all of those words, link them. I'm going to select just one of the layers go to the layer drop down menu and merge linked. Now I have a large area of text and I want it to only cover that part of my photo and so I'm going to hold down the control key click on the photo layer and I could well it doesn't work that way. Let's go to the select drop down menu and choose inverse and now the entire area outside of my photo is selected so I make sure that I am on the text layer and hit delete on my keyboard and the text now only covers that part of my photo. I'm going to play with the blending modes and in my instance I chose soft light and I lowered the opacity a little bit and you can now see that uh, you have uh, faded text behind the people add a drop shadow if you would like it doesn't look that good in my extraction because it's not very good but add a drop shadow to the e extraction um, for my case I decided it to kind of create a little uh, oob, which is an out of bounds layout and I made a selection because I this is part of a chair in the photo and I didn't like that chair and I liked the way the feet were positioned and so I made a selection and hit the delete key for uh, to delete part of the photo and then I also just went back and deleted some of the text up to the same area. And I'm going to go back to show you my finished layout so you can see once again what it looks like. And there you go. There is my layout. And I hope to see um, some of you using this technique. Uh, it sure is a fun, simple way to make an artistic layout.